Okay, what up everybody? We're back with a brand new workflow. It's been a while, but this one is a banger, I think. A lot of people have been asking how do I generate um, you know, a data set using only one image on my AI influencer. So a lot of people just generate uh, the face and then they don't know what to do after that. This is basically a fix for that. So I'll just go over the workflow and then explain a couple of more things and that's gonna be the video. I'm not gonna run the workflow in live because it's gonna take just too long, but the results are already there, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this workflow uses the new Quen image edit model it came out like last week. Um, it's a pretty good model. I think it's better than Flux Context in um, a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Here we load the model, we load the clip, we load the VAE. Um, here we have um, a Laura that's basically making uh, four steps the norm instead of 20 steps or something crazy like that. Basically makes the workflow five times faster easily. Um, here we just upload the image of our face uh, for the influencer. This was generated using SDXL a while ago, so you can use whatever face here, it's still gonna work. This is your negative prompt for all the case samplers. And this is the anything everywhere that's just gonna push everything everywhere. Uh, this is the captioning part. So we use real images um, to get a detailed caption. And then we push that caption to the case samplers to get a mix of the face and um, the base image basically. Um, this is using Florence 2, I think, as the captioning model, but you can use whatever you want and you can also write the prompts yourself if you want to, but it might take you a while if, you know, there's that many images you need to take care of, so just take that into account. Um, here we have the case samplers, basically going to generate your images, um, pretty simple. You can leave all those settings as is, there's nothing, um, to change here you can change stuff but if it stops working you know why um, <laughs> here we have the results I'll just grab the face just so we can compare but um, I think the likeness is pretty much there and even if it looks a little bit different at the end of the day um, if, if you're gonna train your Laura on this it's just gonna make an average of all the faces right it doesn't really care if um, some faces are different it's just gonna make an average and if most of them look like your image or your face well um, I think the final result is gonna look like your face so that's basically um, the gist of it those are the results um, obviously if you don't want tattoos you're not gonna use images with um, tattoos in your captioning part here as you can see, she has tattoos here and here. Uh, I know some of you might know this person. Uh, I don't know her, I just found images here. Um, yeah, so that's the workflow. It's pretty simple, even if it's quite extensive, there's nothing too crazy going on. Um, and it's using mostly, you know, native nodes, so there's nothing uh, too crazy with the custom nodes and everything. And this part is upscaling, adding skin detail. You don't need that, but it could be useful if you want to use it. So I'll just leave it there. Um, there's going to be a paid version that's going to be everything here. And there's going to be the free version that's going to be basically one line. And you can just run it multiple times if you want to. But I got to give something to my 35 paid Patreon members. So that's, that's what's up. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up on the Discord on Patreon. Um, I also provide a folder with all those images, so you can just you know use those as a base, or you can find your own images and do that yourself. Um, that's gonna be up to you. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just hit me up. And um, next video is probably gonna be how to train the Laura using those images. And uh, yeah, that's what's up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.